to the special edition of Trending Show. So special. It's so special. We're going to mix it up a little bit today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, I'm excited too. So as you can tell, we are still quarantined. Uh, Justin, you said last week, I think we've got one more. I'm going to guess that we've got a handful, I if not two we've... handfuls more. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, we're in for the long haul. We are. But you know what? We're still doing it. And uh, so this this week's episode, uh, rather than, you know, typically here on Trending Show, we dive into YouTube's trending list, right? right. So those are the top popular videos uh, happening on YouTube. We digest them. We talk about the creators. Uh, we, we, we mix in our personal <laughs> stories. I figure right now, since most people in america and the world the planet are, <laughs> the planet are quarantined um i uh we see a lot of people looking for good stuff to stream uh on the popular platforms like netflix disney yeah. plus hulu yeah. those types of things so today we just wanted to take the opportunity to talk about some of that trending stuff happening over on netflix Seriously, seriously. Next time, like Eric said, we'll do Disney Plus, Hulu, you name it, yes. we're on it. Uh, this first one is one that I thoroughly enjoyed. And let's jump into the IMDb so we don't give any spoilers away. Um, yeah. Just two quick sentences. Badland is about Detective Matthias Breacher, who's hired to track down the worst of the Confederate war criminals. As he roams the Old West seeking justice, his resolve is tested when he meets a determined pioneer woman who is far more than she seems. Ooh. I'm so intrigued. It, dude, I am intrigued. It, it's so good. And it caught me by surprise. I just hit play and watched it. Because that's how you watch things is you hit play and you watch them. And, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> your, your typical cowboy show, your Western is the Cowboys versus the Native Americans. Yeah. And uh, this day and age, you know, that... Eh, yeah, that's been done. Uh, it's yeah. It's kind of sketch. I'm not into mm-hmm. it. Um, <laughs> this dude... This dude is hunting down Confederate soldiers. Dude. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> I am telling you. This... And, and the um, producer and the director totally got cheesy, but in a good way on some of the parts, right? They've got the showdown. <laughs> Where yeah, he the bad guy in the town square, and then you got the the classic, uh, you know, cowboy like close up shots with the sweat beating down his brow. Yes, you got some of that in there too. It is fantastic. It is fantastic. Good. Yeah. No. Uh, so Justin shot me a text a couple days ago, and he said, "Dude, you need to watch this show." <laughs> and I was like, "I am always down for a, a fresh binge worthy show." And he's like, dude, it's Western, it's classic, it's like it's got good vibes to it. You need to check it out. And uh, <laughs> and then not not fifteen minutes later, he's like, dude, it's not a show. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's a movie. It's a movie. I was oh I was gosh. duped. But oh. it sounds like so. I still have not had an opportunity to watch it, Justin. Just and when if Justin's gonna text me something to watch, I I I watch it. I click right. it. I trust All this right. man. I trust All his. Right. I trust his Netflix. Uh, his Netflix palette. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump all over it. But um, I did watch the trailer, and it's very um, like you said. They kind of left some corny parts in there. The trailer yeah. almost felt a little, a little uh, not corny, kind of cheesy. But like it felt like it was it was hanging on to those Western style yes. roots. You know what I mean? Yes. And um and and listening to that plot line and all those things, I cannot wait to check this thing out. It's fantastic. And listen. I started watching it because I was like doing the home workout elliptical thing. And you'll see the way it's set up, you'll be like, okay, well, Justin is still an idiot for thinking this was a show, <laughs> but I kind of get it. I kind of get it. And when I finished it, I was like, what kind of monster would turn this into a movie? Like this should have been a show. <laughs> Needs to be a show. Dude, yeah. there are so many, there are, there are movies like that where you wish it was a show or you wish or shows that end way too early. And yep. you're like, man, that was only yep. six episodes and yep. I want more. You know what I mean? So, right. uh, Grey's Anatomy's one. <laughs> There's just not enough. Grey's Anatomy, dude. Not enough. We are on season 16 now, I believe 17. And I'm, I'm going to be the first to admit I'm a, I'm a gray hard. I am diehard yeah. Grey's fan. Yeah. Like my my wife more so than myself, but yeah. um, I'm always like, hey, honey, I think there's a new Grey's. You can watch it if you want. And then she turns it on. 
I'm there. I'm that glued. Is awesome. I'm like, it's I'm always like good to have me. those shows. Yeah, That's absolutely. Awesome. The next title coming from Netflix is one that maybe a lot of you have seen, maybe a lot of you haven't, and it is Queer Eye. All right, so let's let's lay down the IMDb Queer Eye synopsis real quick. A new Fab Five set out to Atlanta to help the city's straight men refine their wardrobes, grooming diet, culture pers- cultural pursuits, and home decor. So Queer Eye, of course, was a show back in, <clears throat> I think, early 2000s. Yeah. And um, it had a different set of... Uh, the Fab Five, and now they've got uh, these. Or Netflix rolled out a a revamp, a re yeah, uh, a re uh, what do you call that? Re retooled, reimagined, re, re- re-ima- yeah, yeah, a new, a new version of Queer Eye. Yeah. Uh, and the Fab Five on this show are so good, man. They're, they're just so they're so good, and like. So this show very binge worthy, very uh, it's it's fun, it's easy to watch, uh, it's a, it's right. feel good stories. But then you've got this the characters, the Fab Five are just hilarious, hilarious guys. Right. And um, man, I could sit and watch like four or five episodes and be like, wow, I I want more. You know what I mean? Are you the same way, Justin? Dude, I love it. It's inspiring and. Uh, yeah. It's it's hard not to get the feelings on some of these, you know, when oh, you see someone's transformation, dude, and they're looking right and they feel right, and it's hard it's hard not to, you know, get a little choked up sometimes. It's oh pretty man, cool. uh, uh, no, I I'm glad you admitted that because I'm the same way, man. It's like, yeah, you start you start feeling it. You're like, oh man, because it's it's really so it's really cool. Like each each of the Fab Five carry their own uh, unique. Uh, a skill set or yeah. or thing yeah. that they're helping this this particular person it's you know guys and girls that they're helping uh yeah. make over right so uh you got anthony who's who's the chef yeah. right you've got yeah. uh oh the names are escaping yeah me. the names are escaping jonathan. jonathan jonathan dude jonathan's yeah. my dude jonathan's my yeah. dude i mean oh, uh, they're so great if, if you want if you want a more content beyond uh, Queer Eye Netflix. Just follow Jonathan on Instagram. <laughs> the, dude, the dude's tr- the dude's trying to ice skate. It's great. Yeah, it's just amazing. It's but but like you were saying, those positive feel good stories of people just uh, getting getting made over, and they're just they like you said, they're feeling good about themselves, right. and and you you get to learn who they are as people, um, and uh, and and where they come from. It's really cool, man. It's really cool. It's all yeah, it's all about people trying to better themselves and uh, right, not right. not knowing how to get there. Yeah. And uh, the the Fab Five, as IMDb calls them, are full of positivity and yeah. insight and love for these people, and it's fantastic. I it's love so it. good, man. It's so good. Hey, if you were to nominate someone to go on to Queer Eye, oh, someone geez. someone that you know, who would it be? Who would it be? <laughs> I'm putting you on the if, spot right now. I don't know if I could say. I mean, because <laughs> the question is, who's a wreck? <laughs> who's a wreck and needs? I would. I'd sign myself up. I'd sign myself up. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's it's true. Yeah. How about like, you? I mean, I think every, everybody you? could benefit it from it. Uh, you know what? My wife has. She said I would totally nominate you. Same thing. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but I feel yeah. like I. Uh, um. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a touchy sub. It's kind of da- you got to kind of yeah. you got you to tread yeah. lightly there because yeah. <laughs> who's a wreck that I know who's that a could wreck really that use? Help. <laughs> Too funny, man. Too funny. All right, next up is One Hundred Humans, and the IMDb um, description of this is a social experiment where a hundred individuals will be part of an interactive experiment or interactive experiments exploring sex, happiness, torture. Um, and all the other aspects of being human. Dude. Why? So that explains it. They have 100 yes. humans. And, and, and these people are from all walks of life. Mm-hmm. All walks you, of life. They all look different. We got guys, girls. You've yeah. got, yeah. Different the, races. Yeah, everything. I mean, everything. Right. everything. Uh-huh. Um, it's fantastic. They, I've seen two episodes, and they run through these experiments. And the what's like an experiment that that stands so, out? All right. So an example of an episode would be, I think it was in episode one. They divided the group in half, so fifty okay. in one room, fifty mm-hmm. in another. They read a crime. Okay. So maybe a person, uh, the person on the screen, killed someone. Let's say. Room A, the criminal was 
attractive. Room B, the person was not attractive at all. Okay. Same crime, and they, they got three different options of what the punishment should be. The majority of the time, the person who was good looking got a lighter sentence than the person oh, who was man. not attractive. Oh, my goodness. Another one was they did speed dating. And they had some people wear uniforms, and some pe- and then they would do a, the speed dating thing. Uh-huh. They'd have another group speed date, but that same person wouldn't wear the uniform. Oh, okay. And so it was, does the uniform have this subconscious or conscious yeah. relevance in our minds of how valuable someone is? Right, yeah. And then, <laughs> does it matter what the uniform is? If it's a janitor uniform, or if it's a Burger King uniform, okay. if it's a... What, doctor or air force pilot right very interesting yeah no it's cool and and you can check out the trailer too even before you dive in but uh the trailer itself just kind of shows you just little bits and pieces of yeah. these different things that they're doing and it is super intriguing and it's very it's so crazy. uh yeah just a, a another another binge worthy i mean it wouldn't be binge worthy we wouldn't be talking about it if it wasn't binge worthy <laughs> here on this Dude. on this particular episode but definitely something you want to check out if you're interested in in uh in in taking a look a little bit deeper into the human psyche and, and our and our prejudices and our and and the way that we uh operate in those kind of crazy experiments and there's and, and there's it, some you torture can, you can, <laughs> and while you watch it you can experiment on yourself right because you know what the right? experiment is but you can still kind of step out of yourself and try to judge See how what you're you feeling yeah. It's yeah i like it crazy all right the next <laughs> the next show i want to talk about Speaking of speed dating from our yeah. last show here, Love is Blind. So the quick synopsis here, singles who want to be loved for who they are rather than what they look like have signed up for a less conventional approach to modern dating. Now, if you have not seen uh, memes on the internet or or anything related to Love is Blind, it is just, uh, it's it's a crazy. It's they call it they call it it's an it's an experiment, yeah. Um, and basically, uh, there are pods, right? There's there's guys and there's girls, mm-hmm. and they enter these pods where they have where they go on dates. Now, in these pods, they cannot see each other. There right. there there's a wall between them. They they cannot uh, see each other at all. They they spend the next a very short period of time, two to three days dating. Yep. through pods through just conversation okay right. and at the end what's crazy what's crazy is at mm-hmm. the end people are asking the up other person in the pod who they've not seen right. to marry them right so people are right. getting engaged at the end of this experiment right? right and uh it is just uh it is just such an interesting concept and series and um the the first portion, the first few episodes are that speed dating and the and the people t- meeting each other in the pods and then and then right. they ask them, uh, then some of them end up getting engaged. Then they see each other for the first time, after after not seeing each other, and then uh, and then you know the the series goes on and and we end up seeing uh, weddings and marriages and then a follow up. So uh, it's it's just like. It's so interesting because, um, I mean, it's it, w- if you look at the science behind it, like people uh, that you know, a lot of people have done studies since this show's come out of like, hey, does it are these relationships built to last even longer? Because like, their the foundation was built on just just that uh, interaction yeah. of just getting to know each other with none of these biases of, I mean, going back to the hundred humans, mm-hmm. right, or or uh, from the previous show we just talked about, you know this person who who was more attractive got a lesser sentence and those types of things so uh, but the the foundation of these relationships is built just through voice and just talking and just getting to know yeah. each other on a on like a, a factual level and a you know emotional level before it becomes physical so right. uh it's just crazy it's just it's just wild it's fun there's some there's some tea if if you will there's a lot of like drama and uh it's it's super binge worthy and just a a wild concept that uh, Netflix, of course, brought to life, and it, it's just great. I enjoyed it. Well, it's really surprising how uh, how emotional th- their relationships are, like how connected they are with each other. Yeah. And the th- 
in such a short period of time. You know what I mean? I like I they get. Yeah. I mean, to get down on a knee through a wall to and, and propose to somebody who you you've never even seen what they look right. like. Uh, right. I mean, you've got to have some a deep connection. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, That's and these intense, people were man. able to reach that in just a matter of days and uh, through just talking to each other, which is just, it's definitely Crazy. something you want to check out for sure. Agreed. <laughs> All right. Next up is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Tiger, <laughs> Tiger Easy. King. Easy. Tiger King. A rivalry between big cat eccentrics takes a dark turn when Joe Exotic, a controversial Animal Park boss is caught in a murder for hire plot. Dude, listen. I'm listening. Is, I'm this listening. Is the craziest Give it to me. thing ever. Would you agree? I I would agree a thousand percent that it is just and and I'm real quickly, I'm trying to actually get on to oh shoot. I'm just trying to get on to Netflix to actually read their their synopsis. I can't find it, but uh their synopsis was real brief. Um but it just, it did a, uh, yeah, maybe you can find it, but um, yeah. it did a, <laughs> the, the amount of, of uh, th- there, I wouldn't even call it twists and turns. No. The <laughs> amount of just donuts and, cur- and like train wreck that it happens in this show is just enough to make you like, <laughs> I feel like, and I said this to people, that a, a, a tired, cranky four-year-old could not make up this story. Right. Like, right. it is that wild and crazy. So this guy owns a... Okay, here's Netflix's uh, description. A zoo owner spirals... <laughs> do it, do it, read it. <laughs> a zoo owner spirals out of control amid a cast of eccentric characters in this true murder-for-hire story from the underworld of big cat breeding. <laughs> So he owns this like zoo or something where he has got a bunch of crazy animals, mostly tigers. Yeah, and almost two hundred of them. There's this lady named Carol Baskin who <laughs> own owns like a uh, rescue. She calls place it a rescue, for, big cat yeah, rescue. She calls it tigers. And she's trying to put him out of business, basically. But there's so much more to it than that. Like he ran for president during all of this. Ran and for president. Ran for governor. Governor. Ran for. And it's crazy. But here's my thing. Carol Baskin was doing the same thing that Joe Exotic was doing. Absolutely. And I, and I'm going to let the listeners and the and the viewers make their own okay. you know, yeah, after fair. they watch this make their own thing. Um but I mean, you can't you can't go on the internet or Facebook or Twitter or anything and not see something related to Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin right now. I mean, the right. memes, the memes, right. the meme quality and the, is just pure gold. It's amazing. <sighs> But, um, but yeah, like you've got to, you've got to look at it of, uh, you know, is this lady who's really, who's trying to shut this guy down. Is she any better than he is really, you know, uh, her her cages were microscopic. The cages were small. Uh, if you, if you look at her operation, she's just, she's operating with a volunteer staff. So, I mean, she's, she. Anyways, I'm going to let but you guys watch fair. it. Let's be fair. Joe Exotic's uh, employees were kind of volunteers as well. <laughs> <laughs> they got paid 100 bucks a week in meth. Like, <laughs> So true. Dude, this oh show is insane. And if you've watched it, let us know in the comments because yes. I have no words. And if and if you've watched it and you have our, uh, you're sitting on a meme gold mine I, or gold mine... <laughs> I've I've seen many of the memes, but please, oh. please tag us at at trending at trending dot show on Instagram. I would love I would love oh to just gosh, sift through all the memes. I feel like there's there's more coming out every day. It's like it's like coronavirus cases. There's new memes every Dude. day. <laughs> it it is just the craziest thing. Like every episode, you're like, what? Wait, what? Yes. Wait, what? Guys, it's not even every episode. It's about every seven minutes. You're like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no. Something new happens. There's yeah. a there's a new turn. There's a new twist. There's a new character. There's a new right. person brought into yeah. the story where you're just like, is this real life? Am I being right. punked? Uh, just so worth so worth the binge. I want to say it's seven episodes. And um, dude, my honestly, I'm hoping they do a follow up series. 
they you have know, to. a season two of, of after the fact. There's it basically ends in a, in a way where uh, it it leaves more to you want you wanting more. So uh, to see kind of what happens. So definitely check out Tiger King if you haven't, and and just oh, and and let us know let us know your thoughts on the on the craziness oh, that is it's Tiger crazy. King. All right, the last one I want to talk about here on Netflix, so binge-worthy, is Ozark. They just released season three, I think, last week. Uh, Here's the quick synopsis here. A financial advisor drags his family from Chicago to Missouri Ozarks, to the Missouri Ozarks, where he must launder money uh, to appease a drug boss. So this is so good. This show... um, and Jason Bateman is the main oh, character. And let me man. just say, I didn't know he could act like this. I didn't know he had no, it. No, man. No. Oh, he is, so, so you take Jason Bateman, who's just, uh, well, uh, we're, we're used to seeing him in funny stuff, right? Yeah. Um, and then, and he still carries some, uh, you know, bits of that humor into this role, but it is so, uh, it's intense. And it's just like the synopsis. So he's just a financial advisor, right? A CPA right. type. Yeah. And uh, very early on in the series, you learn that he's not just a financial advisor. He's actually laundering money for uh, the cartel. And uh, anyways, uh, basically a, a, a series of events leads him to up and leave with his family to the Ozarks. And so in, in the middle of the South, uh, Ozarks in, in Missouri. And um, But he basically has to continue this... Uh, this facade that he's got going on and very quickly his his family ends up finding out what's happening and uh it's and then it gets intertwined with the family and all this stuff so it is uh just a great a great series a great concept i i it, it's very reminiscent of uh breaking bad from back oh, in the yeah. day yeah, you yeah. know what i mean you have this chemistry yeah. teacher who ends up who ends up right. uh you know doing what he does but uh now it's like this financial advisor who's laundering money and it is it's uh it's intense yeah. it's got uh it's got great characters in it um uh, very binge worthy and it just i i love it man i love it and it's i so season three just came out um like i said just last week and i'm like gearing up i had to get through tiger king i had to get through 100 humans i had to get through a few of these other things before i jump on it so um right. but now is is the best time now is the best time, binge. dude. Now is the best time. <laughs> All right. So let us know what your favorite shows on Netflix are. If you've seen these, I know you got opinions about them. So let us know what you what you think, Tiger King and all the rest. And uh, Hulu yeah. and, and Disney Plus yeah. are next. Yep, yeah, we're those those ones are coming up. We just we want to be a good source for you uh, to come watch, enjoy this show, enjoy our banter, and then of course check out these other things after the flag. So if you Definitely. are watching us here on YouTube, we would love a thumbs up. If you're new here, we're always welcome to new subscribers. And if you're listening to us on the podcast on your favorite podcast platform, uh, five star ratings are always what we're going for every time. Every Thanks so time. much. That was a blast. High five, Eric. Woo! All right. We'll see you, <laughs> see you guys next time. time. Bye.